Don't you understand that I hate you? I never want to see you again. Okay? <laughs> Seattle. I like Chicago better. I miss our house. Yep, this is like half the size. Look, we're not gonna do this, remember? Compare here and there, then and now. We can't, it doesn't help. Not if we're gonna start a new life. Like my old life. That's your second piece, I've only had one. Look guys, none of this was my idea. I didn't want the divorce. We know that, Mom. Your father moved, we moved. We make the best of it. Why did we have to move? Because this job is all I know. I mean, I grew up around your grandfather's produce business, and this job pays a lot more than I could get in Chicago. And remember, nobody knows who you are here. So you can uh, reinvent yourselves. Be whoever it is you want to be. Be all that you can be in the army. <laughs> <laughs> you goofballs. That's your third piece. Oink, oink. Here, baby. I'm just as nervous about my new job as you are about your new school. At least you're getting paid. <laughs> Winter varsity tryouts. I don't know. Maybe I won't play. Of course you'll play. And it's a good way for you to meet new friends. I'm fat, aren't I? No, you are not fat. You just need a little exercise, that's all. So you do think I'm fat? <laughs> Lexi, you are not fat. You put on a few extra pounds this summer. Big deal. They'll come right off as soon as you start playing again. So stop worrying. I love you, honey. I love you, too. Good night. Jennifer. Who? Jennifer Harnsberger. Wow. She's really good. Mm -hmm. oh and she also gets straight A's and is the best actress in school. Oh, don't you hate her? <laughs> I'm Sarah, by the way. Lexi. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Next! Oh, good luck. <laughs> Nice hits. Nice sets. You sure you two never played together before? I'm Jen. Lexi. Welcome to the team. Thanks. team. <laughs> Fabulous. Congratulations. Well, not that I thought you wouldn't. Oh, and I decided to do what you said and reinvent myself. Can I read you my list? It'll only take a minute. Oh, not right now, honey. I've got to go into a meeting. I only have uh, 30 seconds. Please, one minute. Go. Catherine. Eat healthy. It's at least 10 pounds. Get an A in geometry. Serve an entire game. Help mom more. Oh, well, I like that. And become Jennifer Harnsberger's friend. Well, that sounds great, honey. Listen, I have to go, but I want you to do your homework and no TV, okay? Okay. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Hello, marketing. Yeah, is um, Peter Archer there, please? Who's calling, please? It's his daughter. I'm sorry, he's in a meeting right now. Okay, can you just tell him that I called? Uh, your name again? 
It's Lexi. Uh, your last name? Lexi Archer? Great. I'll make sure he gets the message. Thanks. Yummy. Shut up. Lexi! Hi! Hi. Hey guys, this is Lexi, the new player I told you about. Hi! Hey! This Hi. is Justin and Ben. They're on the boys' team. Lexi's from Chicago. Yeah, my parents got divorced, so here I am. Oh, I can relate. It's been almost a year since the big announcement. Guys, they can eat anything. <laughs> uh, don't you want some dressing with that? Oh, no. I don't like any of them. You should see our new uniforms. It's got this uh, cool diagonal stripe right across the chest. Yeah, wait till you see ours. They're like 100 years old. Girl sports always come fast. I know, it truly upsets. Yeah, like a vacuum. Within a vacuum. Or a hot pair of lips. On a cold cherry popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. Can I have a bite? Mm -hmm. fat there are in this? No. Seven grams per serving. And they say it's low fat. Jill, you know I don't like you to do your homework at the last minute. Our first game is today. I know. I wish I could come, but the growers are holding a meeting on pesticides, and I have to be there. You know I'd go if I could. It doesn't really matter anyway. I'm sorry, honey. Done. so you have more control of the ball. You're all just watching the game. Now let's get it together, huh? One, two, three, team up! Lexi, out. Sup? You're a good player, Lexi, but you gotta anticipate and get to the ball quicker. Jan's ready for you every time, but you're not delivering. I know, I'm just really off today. Sorry. Also, you jump a lot higher if you drop some weight. And just a few pounds can make all the difference. Love your house. Thanks. Is Justin, like, your boyfriend or something? Uh, no. He used to be in the seventh grade now. He's more like a brother. I have a sister. A little sister. Are you an only child? No, I have an older brother, but he's away in college. I hate being the only one left. Jennifer, I... I... Oh, <laughs> How many times have I told you no? I picked up a few things for you at Leone's I thought you might like, including a dress which will be perfect for Grandma's birthday dinner. Oh, Mom. This is my friend Lexi, the girl on the team I told you about. Oh, yes. Jennifer tells me you're from the Midwest. That's where I'm from originally. Yeah. She was Miss Cornhusker, 1970. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, Mom. Is it okay if Lexi spends the night? It's okay with her, Mom. Oh, of course. Only you'll have to fend for yourself. Your father and I are going out. Uh, nice to meet you, Lexi. Nice meeting you. She buys you clothes? Yeah, I'm like her Jenny doll. I mean, actually, she has pretty good taste. It's just I'd like to pick out my own things every once in a while. Like, she decorated my room. But I'm rebelling. Check it out. <laughs> wow. Oh, who's that? You don't know? That's Chloe Densmere. She's this English actress slash model from the 70s. Chloe Dunsmere. Don't you just love that name? She is so incredible looking. Did you ever see the French film, A Oublier L'Amour? Mm -mm. She was in that. To forget love? You take French? Mm -hmm. Me too. <laughs> cool. Mm. 
L'amour. Qu'est-ce que c'est l'amour? Mav. What is love? Un couteau qui reste sur la table. A knife that lies on the table. Entre un homme et une femme. Between a man and a woman. <laughs> I'm starving. Me too. Oh. Get your raid. Oh, yeah. Oh, my stomach. Me too. Oh. I'm gonna go visit La Toilette. Okay. Try something on. Done. I look fat, even in black. Damn it, I feel like a blimp. Yeah, right. You're like the skinniest person I know. If you're a blimp, then I'm a blimp on steroids. <laughs> look straight ahead. Keep walking and don't breathe in. another message on his machine. Just wanted to talk. I don't understand what I did wrong. Lexi, you didn't do anything wrong. Well, then why didn't he call me back the same day? He'll call you back. He always does. Someday he won't. He'll be too busy and he'll forget. Can I have the other half of that? Sure. I thought you didn't like papaya. I don't. <laughs> I'm on a diet. Mm, me too. At least until lunchtime. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> Go ahead, open it. Okay. You'll get used to it. 
especially once you start losing. Break it into fourths, it lasts longer. Okay. <laughs> to eat. Oh, um, mangé. Je mange. Tu manges. Il la mange. Nous mangeons. Vous mangez. Il mange. Ouh là là. To cook. Cuisine. Je fais la cuisine. Tu fais la cuisine. Je veux manger la cuisine. J'ai faim. Moi aussi. To eat or not to eat? That's the question. Chew gum and hold out till breakfast. Okay. <sighs> Hey guys, what do you think about the team having a fundraiser at the Spring Carnival? Like what? I don't know, but something that we can sell tickets for in advance. That way if they don't show, we can still get their money. I like it. <laughs> Is that all you're eating? What about when you play? I mean, your energy. Mm. I have more energy when I eat less. I feel lighter and faster. Right, Lex? Yep. Whatever. <laughs> See you at practice. See that sandwich? At least 800 calories, if not a thousand. You know, I think I finally stopped feeling hungry. <laughs> oh, don't scare me like that. How much have you lost? I don't want you to disappear. That's me, Mom, vanishing into thin air. I'm serious, Lexi. I think you need to stop dieting. I bet you never had big hips. <laughs> <laughs> hips are what women have, and yours are hardly what I would call big. I hate my hips. And my thighs. And you my... have a beautiful, strong, healthy body, Lexi. And I want you to keep it that way. Want me to get fat again? Lexi, you are not fat. Wow, you look great. Thanks. Yeah, you, uh, and I look different. I wasn't even sure it was you. So, uh, how'd you like to go to that, uh, winter dance thing? Okay. Go away, the Great, my dad's here. Don't worry about it. Before. It's okay, Jim. Let it go. Okay, we'll win the next one. Jennifer's game was off today. I guess she just didn't want it enough. Jen's the best player on the team. Oh, I know that. That's why I hate to see her play like she's not. Hello, I need some help. I'm gonna drop it. Thank you, honey. Oh. I thought I might actually cook some dinner. Let me 
lose my game. I swear to God. Damn it. Did you hear what I said? In a minute, would you help me clean up this mess? Hello? Oh, hi, Dad. Did you see the Bulls game last night? I know I wanted to, but they only have a boys team. I'm signing up for the league in the spring, though. Hold on. Mom, it's Dad. Lexi, you talk to him. Daddy? Hi! Guess what? I served the whole game. You did? I know, I wish you could have too. Oh, really? That sounds great. Hang on, I'll ask her. Mom, when do we get out for Thanksgiving? I don't know. Why? She doesn't know. Okay, hang on. Hello? Well, we were just about to have dinner. I thought you were coming out to see them. Well, how are they going to get there? Let me think about it. Look, uh, something's burning. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks a lot, Mom. I wanted to say goodbye. Me too. Hello, I'd like to order a large cheese pizza. Peace offering. I know you're sick of pizza, so tuna salad sandwich, your favorite. You haven't had any dinner. I'm not hungry. Look, I know I get upset when your father calls, especially when he calls to tell me that he's flying you both to Chicago. So we won't go then? Of course you'll go. I want you to go. Mom, I really have to do my math. Eat something. You're getting too thin. And don't stay up too late. I love you. Good night. Call me Chloe. <laughs> you look just like her. Well, we did it. From blimp to... Helium party balloon. <laughs> you know what they say. You can never be too rich or never too thin. So when do you leave for Chicago? Uh, next Wednesday. I'm getting kind of nervous about seeing my dad, though. He sounds so lonely. My mom still loves him. Maybe he wants to come back. I mean, maybe I could talk him into it. Hmm. I think it's romantic when couples get remarried. Why'd they get a divorce? Oh, my dad had an affair with somebody at the office. It didn't last or anything. It wrecked everything. So what about you? You think your parents are in love? <laughs> I think my dad plays around as much as he can. And my mom is the queen of denial. Wow. You guys look great. Yeah. Jill, you have grown at least an inch. But Lexi, you lost a couple inches. You lost all that baby fat. You look terrific. Thanks, Daddy. So, how's the animal? I think the key word there is precipitation. <laughs> we live two miles away from the water. There's lots of windsurfing, but really, you know what, Sue? Well, I'm sure I'm going to get out there for a visit. You know, there's a lot of advertising in Seattle. Probably just as much as in Chicago. Maybe you could get a job. I mean, I don't see any reason why you can't live closer to us. Yeah, then we could see you every week. My friend Nancy sees her mom Sunday through Wednesday, and then she sees her dad Thursday through Saturday. Yeah, and you and Mom might even... 
you know. I mean, you never know. I'll tell you what. Let's get this car packed, and then uh, let's go get something to eat. You want to get something to eat? Sure. Okay. Hi. You're Jill and Alexis, right? You look different from your picture. Jill, Lexi, this is Jolene. Hi. I met your dad at the bank. I was a loan officer. You borrowed money? No, I just every time I came in there, I saw her. And then one day... He asked me out. Well, I'm not at the bank anymore. I've gone back to school. To get her MBA. Do you want a piece of Lexus? She's dieting. She's always dieting. I am not dieting. I just don't want to be. Oh, great. Thank you. Thank you. It doesn't feel like it's almost Christmas. Are you still going to get a tree, Daddy? He's coming to Seattle to visit us, right? Well, as a matter of fact, we've been thinking about going to Colorado to go skiing. We'd love to have you come and stay with us for a few days. Absolutely. Jill, how do you like that pizza? Mm. Waiter, can you take this? Are you sure? You've hardly touched a thing, Alexis. It's Lexi, and I'm very sure. I hope she eats and eats and eats and gets so huge that by the time summer comes, my dad will find her totally repulsive. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. I wish you were here. We could, like, go vintage clothes shopping or something. Yeah, me too. This place is Omwe City. Call me when you get back, okay? Okay. I will. Bye. Bye. I need to borrow a tampon. Um, I don't have any. Sorry. Well, you didn't have any last month either. When was the last time you had your period? I don't know. Well, you keep track of it in your calendar, don't you? Mom, can you just leave? I have to get dressed. You haven't had one in three months? Maybe it's time I took you to a gynecologist. No, <laughs> I'm not going. Forget it. I don't want some guy looking at me down there. Well, go to a woman. I need to go myself. We'll send the urine, blood, and pap smears to the lab. I'll let you know if there's anything unusual. Uh, Dr. Walker, what about Lexi's irregular periods? I mean, do you think that she might have uh, an eating problem? She weighs... Uh... 115 pounds, which is not low for her height. Well, I know, but I read that one of the danger signals is if your period stops. Fluctuations of the menstrual cycle are common at her age. If you're looking for a cause, I'd say it's most likely the trauma of the divorce and the moving. We'll check her again in six months. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, Jen's idea worked.
Oh, hi. How was practice? Fine. I want to do a few more exercises while my muscles are warm. No. Dinner's ready now, so come sit down. I made something special. What is it? I call it chicken tahiti. It has pineapples in it. I love pineapples. Can I just have a little rice? I'm not eating meat. So, now you're a vegetarian? Uh-huh. Well, you can have the pineapples without the chicken. And I made an avocado salad. Avocados are pure fat, Mom. They have lots of potassium, Lexi. And besides, you need to eat something more than rice. I don't want anything else. What's the occasion, anyway? I just wanted to have a nice family dinner together, okay? Flowers? Tablecloth? Mom, you really need a boyfriend. I mean, Dad has a girlfriend. Well, why shouldn't she know? I got my report card. remember? <laughs> Come on. We're gonna be late for practice. Oh. Come on. Okay. Woo. <laughs> hey, Archer. I think you need to put on a few pounds. Got it. Thanks. Come on, Justin. One ticket is not enough. So, what do I get if I win? Trip to Paris. I just hope that she's not getting too thin. I wouldn't worry too much about her. She's a real sensible girl. I know, but... Hi. Oh, sorry to barge in. That's okay. How you been? Uh, good. I'm Pamela Harnsberg. Oh. And Jennifer's mom. Yes, Catherine. Catherine Archer. Yeah, Lexi just pointed you out. I thought I'd just come say hello since the girls have become such good friends. Oh, isn't that great? You know, when we first moved here, she was worried she wasn't going to make any friends. And... <laughs> Hi, okay, that's great. So what is this for, anyway? A uh, local newspaper. I freelance for them. Look, I know this is going to sound a bit like a line, but... Have you ever considered being a model? Oh, all the time. <clears throat> Here's my card. Why don't you stop by the studio sometime and we'll take a few shots? Okay. Jill. Do you think I could be a model? No way. Shows what you know. There's this photographer that's going to take pictures of me and Jen. Like, he's going to discover us. And pretty soon, we're going to be in all the fashion magazines. Earning tons of money and traveling. I mean, what do you know, anyway? Get out of here. Yeah, 
can't believe we're doing this. What if he's some kind of perv? Perfs don't give you their cards. Nick McCabe, fashion photography. <laughs> So what are we going to tell our parents about the movie we're not seeing? We'll tell them we both hated it. That way they won't go see it. Ah. <laughs> Et voila. With cut cut. Uh, Jennifer Harnsberger. Hey, Jennifer. you were coming alone. Oh, um, this is my friend Lexi. She was at the fundraiser with me, remember? Yeah, right. How you doing? I was thinking that maybe you could take some pictures of her, too. Um, could you excuse us for a moment? Sure. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but your friend's not really model material. She's skinnier than I am. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's all in the structure. I mean, how it all hangs together. I mean, it's nothing personal. You know what? I better get going. No, look, I, um... Uh... I gotta go. Lexi! No, I'm okay, really. Go back in and let him take pictures of you. I don't want to go back. You're model material, and I'm not. Yeah, right. Come on. He was a jerk anyhow. <laughs> Friends not really want material. I'm fat, aren't I? No, you are not fat. You put on a few extra pounds this summer. Big deal. You jump a lot higher. You drop some weight. Just a few pounds can make all the difference. Where's your sister? She's gonna be late. I don't know. Well, look who woke up. Here. I don't want any. You need to eat. Did you forget you've got the semifinals today? I'm coming, by the way. I'm leaving work early. You don't eat. You don't play volleyball today. Got it? Yeah, how are you going to stop me? I'll call your coach. Now, what's this I hear about some photographer wanting to take pictures of you and Jennifer? It's a good way to get yourself raped. Mom, do you want to fight or do you want me to eat? I want you to eat. Call an ambulance now. Malnutrition takes a major toll on the body. Let me put it in layman's terms. What happens with anorexia is that all of your muscles get smaller and weaker, including your heart. Lexi collapsed because her smaller, weaker heart couldn't get enough blood to her smaller, weaker leg muscles. Was that why she blacked out, too? She blacked out most likely because of arrhythmia or a regular heartbeat. But she's not going to die. No, not if she eats. Now, treatment is three-pronged. 
medical, nutritional, and psychological. But restoration of appetite is the cornerstone of recovery. And if, um, if she doesn't eat? We'll use a feeding tube, only as a last resort. Once she gets physically better, she'll regain the mental focus to begin the real work. Which is? Dealing with all the feelings that she starved behind. Alexis? Hi, I'm Phoebe. I'm going to be your nutritionist. It's Lexi. Lexi? I like it. For starters, can I ask you to stand on the scale backwards? Why are you weighing me backwards? So you don't see your weight. Anorexia on us, are you? It's nothing to joke about, Justin. 